Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Tonight we're going to be talking about memory pointers. This is kind of an extension of my book and also the classes that we offer at ExcelMe.com on Objective-C and iOS uh, programming. And so one of the things my students always kind of have issues with the first time they start uh, developing in Objective-C is understanding pointers. So tonight we're going to talk about pointer basic, memory pointer basics. So let's go ahead and get started with a basic um, application, just a basic Objective-C application. Let me hit cancel here and I'll do file, new project. And I'll do a com um, command line tool Objective-C and I'll just call this pointers and to make sure I choose foundation, specify the location, and hit create. All right, get to our main here. And um, I'm just gonna kinda use the template that I'm given, and I'm going to create two variables here. One is of type NS, uh, NS string, and I called it my string. And then another one's a char pointer called my char pointer, character pointer. And they, this is what uh, my string contains and what uh, my char pointer contains. And uh, let's just add it to this NS log here. And I'll just leave char pointer alone here. Let's go ahead and compile this application and run it. And just a second, let me just fill this in here. And I look in my output debug window down here, and there it is. Hello world, this is my string. All right, well let's look, let's set a breakpoint here here, right here on line 17, and rerun the application. I'll stop at my breakpoint, and I'll look at my, on my string. We can see what its memory location is. The first thing you need to realize with pointers is a variable has to live somewhere on the computer. And by living, I mean the data and the variable has to reside in memory somewhere. And memory space is denoted by an address, just like um, on a block where of, of homes. Each home has a physical address space. So the mailman and people know where to go to deliver mail and to visit that person. Same with the computer. The computer needs to know where this variable is located at. Well, right now, its memory location is hexadecimal space 0x0. It hasn't been allocated right. It doesn't have an address. It doesn't contain any information yet because I have not executed that line of code. So let's go ahead and just execute that line of code. And now we see that we have a good address space. It's not nil anymore and it, what the information that it contains. So if I look in my little um, debug watch window, I can see down here, here is my string. Let me zoom in on this just a bit. Hopefully you can see it a little better. Here you have my string, and here's its memory location and what the contents are. And char pointer, we haven't, we haven't run this line of code yet. It's still sitting right here. So let's go ahead and execute this line of code, which will initialize the variable and set it equal to con um, its contents. So we'll execute that, and there it is. This is my pointer, and it now has its own memory location. Well, what do I mean by memory locations? Where, how can I look and see what this actually looks like? Well, if you go ahead, and it's kind of changed now with Xcode 4, how you can look at the memory viewer. But if I, I think I right click on it and I say, watch memory of my char pointer. Okay, I'll get my little memory viewer up here, and actually I want to do 
There we go. So here's the memory location. That's the hexadecimal memory location. So here it is. It brings up its memory location. And here are the hex values for those characters. So 54 is an uppercase T, 60H is an H, and I can see it over here, and um, all the way through for the char pointer. And then a little bit space given here in memory, and then here is my um, um, my string information, or actually hello world is here. And I can go and look at its memory information by doing the same thing. And let's see, let's try that again. Well, that's the address of it. I want to get the space up here. I probably did something wrong. Right click. Hmm. Well, I don't know why it's not coming up now, of course. Right in the middle of the presentation, it's not. Let's see if we can't figure out. To go back to our data here, we can simply scroll back to get back to our code. Well, the first thing we, we look at is here is an NS string. NS string is a um, class. The object that um, is an instance of that class is called my string. Now, what's different about um, strings is they, especially if I used a mutable string, I can go ahead and dynamically during the program execution um, resize the memory that was allocated for this variable my string. So later on, if this was an NS mutable string, the other string type that we use when we change string values, um, it will automatically dynamically change the value to hold whatever contents that we're going to change that to. Unlike a char pointer, if I try to add characters to this uh, to this uh, character pointer, I will write off into other memory space that wasn't allocated for this variable and make my application unstable, probably leading to a crash soon after this line of code is executed. All right, so if I changed the value of my pointer later on, um, I could cause my application to crash by doing that, by making it longer than what this was originally assigned to in memory. Um, and that's a, that was a very common occurrence back in the days where we didn't have these uh, very um, robust uh, classes for handling strings. We had to do it automatically. It was real easy to to cause uh, our string overwrites and to, to go further in space than what was originally allocated and, and cause uh, program instability and crashes. Um, so remember, all variables, no matter if they're allocated as pointers or integers, reside in memory and have a memory location that we can go ahead and view and, um, and watch if we want, both down here in our debug window or in our memory viewer as well. So I hope this was useful tonight as sort of an introduction to pointers. If you have any questions, feel free to attend one of our classes or shoot me an email on our forum. And uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next Wednesday night. You can attend live at, uh, um, you can attend live as well as uh, view the YouTube recordings. And if you simply just go to excelme.com, and click on videos here, free videos. You'll see here um, all the prior YouTube videos as well as you can go ahead and register to go to the free webinars. Uh, they're every Wednesday night at uh, 6 p 6 30 p.m. Pacific time. And also if you do subscribe to the YouTube channel, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel every time I upload a new vi vi video, which is every Wednesday, um, you'll get notified. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Good night.